In this video, we will demonstrate how to give an intramuscular injection to a turtle or tortoise. However, there are a few things we need to remember before we get started. Make sure you have carefully read the medication label and understand the prescription instructions, including what volume of medication to give, how often the medication should be given, and how long the treatment should continue. You should also find out if there are any special storage requirements for the medication, such as keeping the medicine in the freezer. To avoid contamination, be sure to wash your hands before giving your pet an injection. It is very important that turtles and tortoises be housed properly with a temperature gradient appropriate for the species because drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion are all affected by body temperature. Historically, injecting medications in the back half of the body has been avoided due to the presence of a renal portal system which directs blood from the tail and hind legs to the kidneys. While the significance of this system is still unknown in many species, unless there is some other reason not to, it is recommended that injections be given in the front legs of the animal. Understanding how to use a syringe is important to ensure that your pet receives the correct amount of medication. Please see our video on syringe basics for more information. Most of the medication we dispense at our clinic for turtles and tortoises are in insulin syringes. Insulin syringes are measured in international units. A 50 unit insulin syringe holds 0.5 milliliters of fluid. So on a 50 unit insulin syringe, one unit is equal to 0.01 milliliters. It is likely that you have received preloaded syringes for your pet. If your pet has medication that requires it be stored frozen, just take out one syringe when the medication is due and hold it in your hands until it thaws before administering it to your turtle or tortoise. Be sure to accurately measure the amount of liquid in your syringe by lining up the top ring of the plunger tip with the proper calibration marking on the barrel. Give intramuscular injections into a front leg between the elbow and shoulder. Injections should be made between the scales as opposed to through the scales. If you are unable to extend the leg, it is okay to inject in the forelimb distal to the elbow. Do not inject into the feet of the animal. If necessary, use a towel positioned between the animal's face and leg to prevent painful bites. Insert the needle at a 45 degree angle aiming for the middle of the muscle. Once your needle has been inserted into the muscle, draw back slightly on the plunger to ensure that you have not entered a blood vessel. If you do not see blood, give the injection. If you see blood, take the needle out and retry in another area of the muscle or in the opposite front leg. After you withdraw the needle, place your finger over the site of insertion for a few seconds to prevent leaking of the medicine. When the next treatment is due, use the opposite front leg and keep alternating sides with each treatment. This brief video demonstrates the basics of giving a turtle an injection. Be sure to wash your hands after handling your turtle and return used needles to your veterinarian for safe disposal. If you have any questions about how to give your turtle medications, please contact our clinic. Thanks for watching.